If you want to paint a painting or you want to learn to draw, if you want to be creative like some artists that you saw, then where in the whole wide world should you go? To the cartoon guy! At the cartoon guy show. Captain Comics really clever, the professor's really smart, but their next door neighbor Tom, he doesn't care much for their art. So how can they Children, I am Professor Peller, the scientist of the Cartoon Guy show. You, you may remember me from the opening credits, yes? With, with the rocket ship and the, the walking out of frame. No? Okay, well today, kids, I'm going to teach you how to do something amazing. Today, we're going to turn a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. Now, you will learn with Professor Peller, the prop builder. Okay, kids, we here at the Cartoon Guy Show are concerned about your safety. So, before we ever start any of Professor's projects, we take the Professor's Promise. Now, I want you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, insert name here. No, 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 no. You say your name. I, your name. No. I do agree to find an adult to help me before I follow along, before anything goes wrong, before anything goes amiss. This I do promise. Okay, kids, let's get started. But like with the cartoon guy, the first step is to assemble all the tools we're going to need for our project. Now. As you see here in front of me, I have a various degrees of tools, some of which can be found in your parents' kitchen, and others I picked up at a local store as a part of a pumpkin carving kit. As you can see, with some of these tools, we have various degrees of sharp edges and, and pointy objects, hence the need for the professor's promise and for adult supervision. Now, let's get started. Okay, kids, now that we have all the tools we're going to need, the next thing we have to do is draw a face on our pumpkin. Now, as you can see, I've gone ahead and done this ahead of time, using several triangles and rectangles and, and a crescent moon for the mouth. You can come up with your own ideas. Make it your own. Be creative. Now, the next thing we have to do after we get our face drawn is to take the top off of our pumpkin and hollow it out so we can put a light in it that makes it a lantern. So, we're going to need a knife and start to cut the top of the pumpkin off. This is the part where you will want to get your parents to help with this. This pumpkin is rather hard to cut, and so they will most likely want to do this part for you as it will be more safer. Okay, kids. Now, since we're dealing with sharp, pointy objects, Take your time. You want to work the knife, there it goes, right in there, and then slowly cut a circle out of the top of the pumpkin. Always cut away from yourself. You do not want to cut to yourself in case the knife slips. Don't need any tragic accidents. This pumpkin is rather hard, so it's going to take me a few minutes to work it all the way around. But always take your time. You'll want to cut in at a slight angle as well, so that when we take the top off, it will go right back into the slot, so it will keep the pumpkin covered. And you slowly work your way back to where you start it there. Now, take your knife out and set it down. And here's the exciting part. Here's where we get to open up our pumpkin and see what's inside. So, just pull the top off and, um... And here's the part where my assistant gets to clean out the pumpkin. Uh, oh, oh, Amelia! Um, I have something for you to do over here. Uh, this pumpkin, it needs cleaning. Um, I have something else to do um, over here. 
every time. Oh good, she's done! And I didn't have to touch any of the, the, the ickies. Okay, now that I'm back, we're going to cut out the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Now, there are several other tools that came in the pumpkin kit that I'm going to show you. First, there are these, these little pointy things. They are used for, for putting dots on your pumpkin where you're going to cut. So what you want to do is take one of these and slowly just poke tiny little holes along the lines you've drawn. This will make it a little easier to cut with your pumpkin kit. So slowly work your way around the eyes, poking holes every so many little inches or half inches, you know, however you feel comfortable with it. The purpose of this is again to perforate the pumpkin so the pumpkin cutting tools will be easier to cut. As we saw earlier, it was kind of hard to cut with the knife without doing this, but I wanted to show you how each of the different tools work. Now that we poke our way around, it comes with some of these tiny little saw things. So we'll take one of these and just poke it into one of those holes you have drawn, like so, and then slowly saw your way around the outer edge of the eye. Again, like with the knife, take your time. This is not a race. Just work slowly back and forth until you get the entire eye cut out. Again, if you have to pull the saw out and put it back in to change angles, this is perfectly all right. Okay, kids, again, take your time. This is not a race. If you hurry, then you could mess it up and have to start all over. And then we'd have to start cutting up the pumpkin and dealing with the, the icky skin. worked our way right back to our first cut, you'll want to poke the eye out. Best way to do this is work from the back forward. So reach in behind the eye and slowly push it out until it is completely removed. And now, as you can see, we have one of the eyes cut out. Now, hold on to these little pieces you cut out because I'm going to show you something really neat to do with them later. Okay, kids, now that we have our eyes and nose cut out, it's time to move on to the mouth. The mouth is very tricky because it has curved angles and jagged teeth poking out. So this one you really want to take your time with. So start cutting slowly as we did with the other eyes, nose, and top. As you work your way along the top of the mouth, you'll come to one of the teeth. Once you've come to the tooth, pull your tool out. It is not easy to make a complete 90 degree turn with these tools. You can break your tool or damage your pumpkin. So take your tool out, turn it 90 degrees, and start cutting down on your tooth. Don't go too far or you'll cut into the mouth. Once you get to the base of the tooth, take it out, turn it again, and continue cutting. Complete this motion until you are completely around the mouth. There we go. Now your pumpkin is cut out and has a nice smiling face to look at you. Now, as I said earlier, I'm going to show you something very neat to do with your little pieces. What you want to do is take your knife or your saw and cut them down into small circles, big enough to fit into the eyes of your pumpkin. If you need to, draw out a circle on them beforehand so you know exactly what you're cutting. It is best to lay the piece down on the table to cut it. Holding it up in the air and cutting it freehand, you run a higher risk of cutting yourself. So don't do this. Remember, safety first. We take our little saw piece and slowly work our way around the circle we have made for our pumpkin's eyes. Take some toothpicks and mount them into your pumpkin's eyes. Like so, now you have a nice little pupil on your pumpkin, making it a little more scary and more professional looking. And there you have it, a perfectly carved pumpkin. Now, most people 
used to use like tea candles or regular candles to light it up. But nowadays, to steer away from the dangers of fire, most pumpkin kits will come with a nice little LED light that you can put in that runs off of little batteries and stuff. So you put this in your pumpkin and turn it on and it will light it up. Once it is lit, you put the top back on and there you have a perfectly lit pumpkin. Now, if you don't want to deal with lights and fire and sharp pointy objects, you have many other options to do, like painting a pumpkin like we have here. Now, as you can see, they are very similar in design and both look just as amazing. So once you are done, make sure you clean up your area. Make your parents very happy. You know, clean your tools and put them away where they belong. And there you have it. So I will see you next time on the Cartoon Guy Show. And remember, when it comes to your imagination, the sky is the limit.